Hello and welcome. I'm gonna be reviewing my Genshin account. So I made this account on the 24th of October 2021, making it almost three years old. To be more precise, two years and nine months. You would think that by now I would be AR60. You were absolutely correct, I should be. However, around when Sumeru came out, I actually took a pretty big break. So basically, today's video is going to be a bit of a review and showcase of where my account is at because as you probably know version 5.0 is just around the corner and I mean like eight days away as of recording this and um, I plan to be pulling for a lot of Natlan characters doing a lot of farming and uh, really working at developing my account even further starting off with teams I actually have a few teams here I would say my first team is actually my Alakino team recently I got Emily so I have a Alakino burning team. I have a Hyper Bloom DPS Nahida team. I have a DPS Venti team for fun, because Venti I would consider my main. Love this guy. I have a Tanari team, which needs a bit of work. Yaya needs to be leveled up, but I haven't gotten around to it. I kind of have this unfinished Eula team because my Eula has never really been built properly. Eula was actually my first limited 5 star, but I just don't really use her anymore. As for weapons, I recently got Aqua Simulacra for Venti, I have an armor spore that I got from Santa Banner, I've got a Kino signature weapon, I've got Aquila Favonia, and I have a Lost Prayer that I got from Standard Banner as well. I do want to level 90 this. I have a few battle pass weapons, I'm not free to play. I've gotten Welkin a few times. I have only ever really bought top-ups like a very few amount of times for Alakino. Alakino was like the first character I did like a big pulling video for. However, outside of that, I've never really spent outside of Battle Pass and Welkin. I've got an R1 catch because I hate fishing. Yeah, I just have a bunch of like random four-star weapons. I've got some craftables that I don't use. I might level up Sapwood and put that on Bennett instead just for the energy recharge because I think it will probably be nice on the burning team. So I don't have that many five star weapons. I want to get a lot more. Like I, I want like at least two rows one day. But I'll be pulling for weapons a lot more now that the new update will be changing how the weapon banner works. As for artifacts, I actually don't think I have as many artifacts as I should at my current level. Unfortunately, I have a really bad habit of feeding like artifacts that do not satisfy me into art other artifacts. Hence why it seems like I don't have very many. I do have some very, very nice emblem feathers. Specifically these two, uh, this one especially. I have a really nice circlet on my venti which I'm really happy about but overall the amount that I have like we scroll down here and then yeah that's the, like that's the end of my level 20s is here. So not a very big list of level 20 artifacts. Not a, not, not a very big list. Um, I've been leveling a bunch of characters so I have like no heroes wit which I need to refarm real bad. I have 9 million mora Let's not talk about the primo gems. Let's not even look at the food section because I am not a food collector or crafter. I just have nothing. I don't think I have anything interesting in here. Story stuff. I only have 20 wishes, two, two dream solvents. I know, terrible. And we're not gonna talk about the fragile resin. I have a terrible, terrible problem when it comes to artifact domains. I love, love farming artifact domains, which is hilarious because I don't even have that many artifacts. I don't really know how we got here, but I am saving my fragile resin now. I know it doesn't look like it, but I <laughs> you just gotta trust me, okay? On to exploration. I have Mondstadt all 100%, which is funny because you just move over here and then Liyue is really abandoned. I have Dragonspine 81, lots of areas in <laughs> in um, Liyue. Some that doesn't even crack 70. Let's not talk about the Chasm. Chen Yu Veil of... Yeah. Sumo... This, yeah, I think this kind of looks okay, minus this place, it's not even 50%. But then you get to the desert, 39%, 33%, 34 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, pretty bad. I'll go down in the zoom up, because, um, look, I actually have three places 100%, and Surumi Island, I only have 78. On to Fontaine, yeah. To be honest, I'm starting this video because I kind of want to do a series where I go in and we pick 
a different subject for every episode, whether it's a building character episode. You guys pick a character from a poll and then I go in and I refine them and build them. And then maybe another episode I go in and I try to max out a region. And then another episode we try and get like a, a full four piece artifact set for every single one of my teams and characters. You know, different things like that. Fixing my own account. This one I have 100%. Yeah, I've got this 94%. Haven't maxed it, but it's very close. Enconomia, 63%. And then finally the underground chasm is only 65%. Lots and lots of stuff to do exploration wise. Trust me, I'm aware. As for my quest log, oh my gosh, I have an Archon quest I gotta do. I still haven't done bedtime story, okay. I actually have recently just started going in and getting all my world quests done. This was like triple the size just yesterday. But yeah, I suppose another episode of the series could be getting all of these quests done as well. I don't really know what the word would be. Basically going in and just finishing it? I don't know how to, I don't really know how to word it yet. I'll have to try and come up for a name for it. Completing my three-year-old account. Oh uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'd call it yet. But there's just so much I want to do. As for my actual character builds, this is where I think things kind of shine a little bit, at least with my favorite characters. So I'll leave Venti till last because he's like my favorite character. But if I come over to my Alakino, for example, she's on her signature weapon. Her artifacts are okay. Um, this is bad and this could use work. Like, this is really nice. She's Constellation 2 and then she has a really nice ratio in my opinion. I do want to get the crit damage higher, but I don't want her crit rate going any lower than 70. Emily is another character that I'm pretty happy with her build. Um, she's on Unfinished Reverie and, you know, she's got pretty, pretty good, like, this is meh, but like pretty decent artifacts. She sees zero, her talents are questionable. Haven't gotten them up yet. But I think, again, she's got an even better crit ratio than what my, my Alakino has, so I'm pretty happy with that. My Nahida is on Lost Prayer, and then I really like my Nahida's artifacts. Really love this feather. Um, This is okay. That's pretty good. This is all right, the EM and crit rate's good. She sees zero, her talents. I need to get these talents up real bad, wow. And this is her ratio. Sometimes my Tanari and my Nahida kind of swap on their builds a little bit. Now as for my Tanari, he's on Blazing Sun. And this is his ratio as of right now. But obviously when I go in and I try and just swap, let's say this then this, which is what I usually swap around. She stays on her four piece, then her ratio becomes more like this, which we won't talk about, but then his becomes this. Which, she could really use more crit rate, but it's okay. This is so bad. This is really bad. We aren't gonna talk about that, actually. Brina, really, uh, I can be a bit sluggish sometimes when it comes to building characters. Like, it takes me a lot of time. I have no idea where she got all this crit damage from, to be very honest. Serena, when did you have this crit damage and where is your crit rate? What are you on? I don't have a crit rate circlet. Bestie, what? <laughs> This is my Eula stats, kind of questionable crit rate, we're not going to talk about it. This is my Ganyu stats, questionable crit rate again. I suppose the build I really want to be showing today is my Venti. If you've seen my DPS Venti series, you'll already know what he, this guy looks like, but if not, just to show you I guess, uh, he is on R1 Aqua, these are his artifacts. The crit rate is no longer the main stat. He's C0, he's almost triple crowned. And these are his stats. I want to get his crit rate higher, but to get his crit rate higher, I kind of need a better Anemo Damage Goblet that has crit rate on it. And I haven't really gotten one yet because it's a goblet and getting goblets is kind of hard. Work in progress. You know what? Every single one of my characters is a work in progress. So I suppose that's kind of the whole point of this video is to show where my account is at right Right now before 5.0 and with 5.0 and all of the amazing quality of life features it's bringing hopefully I can really work at improving this account and bringing it to I guess a finished state this is obviously just a review video but I suppose right now we can use the resin that I have today because I want to go and farm some artifacts I won't be farming any bosses or anything like that until the 5.0 update just because it'll 
it'll be more efficient. I'm just gonna be mostly focusing on artifacts because I also want to have enough for the sanctifying elixir. And I'm going to ban myself from feeding any artifacts into each other or strong boxing. I want to actually fill my inventory. I want to have the problem of having a full inventory of artifacts because I just feel like this account could be so much more advanced than what it actually is and my silly little trigger happy brain sometimes struggles a little bit to prioritize things. I'm probably going to go to this domain. Please give me a really good unfinished reverie crit rate circlet with a high crit damage roll or a pyro damage goblet. <gasps> no. No! Okay, that has potential. <gasps> Please. No! I'm gonna lock it because it's EM. I want to level some of these artifacts here that are very close. Oh, yay. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's actually still a really good piece. So many locked pieces that are just not leveled. Let's go to the Spiral Abyss. Because I did 36 star it, but I want to try it again. We'll do Alakino, Emily. My Sucrose gives a pretty beefy attack buff because she's on R5 Thrilling Tales. Plus she has VV, so I think I'll go with Sucrose. And then we're going to need Zhongli for the last boss. Then I'll just go with my Hyper Bloom team. I'll just chuck Yayo on there for heals. Energy recharge give me that you're so close to being dead come on oh i hate this part where is it this guy get out of here there we go come on tinkture i kind of need you right now bro all right there we go we got through it oh, i forget what's on this side oh these guys he's dead <laughs> okay we're kind of eating away at his health that's good that's good let me just get my shield back come on oh 120k nice okay we got through that three start it awesome let's get on to the other side that one's pretty good for survivability so i'll just go with that one so we don't die all right let's get through this okay well that one's dead that's good that's good i think we've really been doing this for like 20 30 seconds 40 seconds maybe? Come on! Eating away his health quite a lot. Oh, oh, I forgot there's these guys. Well, I'm not really feeling stressed over this, to be honest. Uh, my, my, the hyper, I feel like Hyper Bloom is kind of a no-brainer. No! Okay, this is not going quite well. It's alright, we still have time. The problem is, is I think with Abyss, there's so many, like, waves. To me, Abyss is really boring when it's so many waves of enemies. It's a lot more fun to me when it bosses. Alright, broke a shield. Now we just attack. Didn't 36 star at that time. That was probably a pretty sloppy rotation then. Yeah, that's my bad. Oh my gosh, guys. Calm down. No need to be hasteful. We got this. We just need to kill five more enemies. It should be fine. Surely. You know, yeah, the fact that my Yaya is only level 60 but still kind of holds up is pretty impressive to say like how good of a healer Yaya is. I couldn't do it without her. Okay, this is bad. We gotta beat the second side in like 40 seconds. We have to beat the next side in a very very short amount of times. So let's just be as quick as we can. Uh oh. I don't think this is gonna happen. We have 20 seconds. No way. Five, four, three, two, no! Take our star the star. Oh my gosh, that was like on the time too. We two starred that as well. That playthrough was sloppy. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. You, you can, I don't feel like it. Keep in mind that while my account is kind of like nearing three years, I did take like a year break. Like I just wasn't playing for all of Sumeru. I missed Yolan's banner. I wasn't playing when Yolan came out. Missed all of Sumeru, came back and a little bit of Fontaine was already released. Um, and then I really, really got back into it like all throughout Fontaine, so that's a year in itself. And um, after all of Fontaine was released, I thought to myself, what if I make a, a Genshin video? And well, that's how we got here. You know, I uploaded that first random DPS episode. I think it's at like 90 something thousand views now. We hit 9,000 subscribers just the other day, which is really, really cool. Really been enjoying it, so I plan to make tons more Genshin content. If you guys want to see a series on me fixing up this account, maxing out regions, maxing out all my characters, getting them on the best builds I can. Let me know down in the comments. And with all of that said and done, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.